a major setback for Andy. I think it's just, you know, the burden of proof is on the defendant if you want to stop the discovery process. And so to stop, discover to stop the discovery process is really a big thing. I think the fact that it's being allowed isn't really such a loss. Speaking of the annoyance, the total annoyance that is Vicki Gumbelson, she really annoys me, this woman. Um, she has spoken out recently and said, you know, if we ever saw her uh, season of Morocco, uh, that Brandy would be exonerated. Uh, here's the problem with that. A, stop talking about it, Vicky. There's no sense in talking about it. We're never going to see that uh, season. Second of all, um, you also lie, girl. You lied about cancer. I mean, let's not forget that. And now you're being sued. Did you lie to someone in the business? Because you're being sued by this elderly woman who says that you lied or whatever the hell else you did. I don't know the facts. I don't have them in front of me. I don't really care. The point is Phaedra also stands by Vicky. So I know you guys are thinking, well, that doesn't really tell us anything because I mean, Phaedra has been caught in a lie or two. I just lose sight of things when it comes to Phaedra. I love my Phaedra. She's so damn funny and she makes great TV. But, um, you know, I don't know. We're never going to see this. And uh, she hasn't sued anyone, Brandy. So um, I don't know. That whole story kind of bores me. i we're never going to see this this season. So what's the point? Um, there's a lot of fake rumors I've been seeing about New Jersey casting that they're touching down and they're actively talking to tons and tons and tons of young families with children in New Jersey. This is such bullshit. New Jersey is not on anyone's radar in September. Uh, what is the day today? September 15th. It's not on anyone's radar. Sure, if someone knows a family and its producers and friends of a friend, they might be having a conversation now, but this isn't on anyone's radar to cast in September or October or November. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, because we're not doing it. At New Year, we might start thinking about New Jersey. So that's total bullshit. So for everyone who thinks like that, there's New Jersey casting news and you're reading all these fake headlines or listening to all these Fake people just make these stories up. It really is crazy. I guess you just can make a story up and then there's supposed to be validity to it. Um, did everyone see, did everyone listen yesterday on Patreon? We recapped uh, RHOC. And I just think the scene was so, I really liked this scene where Emily was kind of telling Alexis, like, can't you just have compassion? At least some compassion for Shannon. And she is just like, you know, everyone needs to basically get off the Shannon train. I mean, the woman crashed her car into a house and she's still drinking. Like, I don't understand what all of the uh, what all of the fanfare for Shannon is. So, OK, you do kind of have a point, um, but uh, you do kind of have a point. Um, let's talk about Nicole now. I'm recording this a day or two before Sunday, so anything could happen. But it's really funny. I mean, is Nicole really out of R-H-O-M? It's so funny because the first thing I did is uh, reach out to my Bravo Bench co-host, Anakin Koses, who, you know, Anna does know a thing or two about my AMA. She does keep in touch with a lot of these people. So look, RHL, I'm casting uh, the new season um, for season seven. It definitely started this week. So the filming definitely started. That is definitely a true fact. And lots of people were at the filming, uh, pretty much everyone. Um, we had Alexia and Lisa was there. Yes, yeah, so Lisa's coming back and Larsa and Julia and Gertie and even Adriana and Marisol and Kiki. Look, the plan was to have everybody back. Nicole wasn't there. Um, so, you know, and there also might be some new faces. Nicole took it off her bio. So it's just weird. I mean, again, we have two, two and a half days between the time I'm recording this to the time this comes out. So anything could happen. I mean, I did talk to Anna about this, like, sorry, Anna, you're my Bravo bench, uh, co-host along with Ace and, uh, you know, I don't think it's like, you know, having, you know, having, uh, a night out with Luann on like a Saturday night where like, I can't repeat things that I'm told. I feel like girl, welcome to the game. And now anything you tell me I can repeat, but, um, you know, look, I don't know about this one. I can't see Nicole. Look, she doesn't need the money, right? It's a lot of stress. 
It's a job that brings toxicity to your life. I don't know why. It, look, if you have a ton of money and you want to be on one of these shows, to me, it's only for fame. I mean, you tell me why an anesthesiologist with a endless amounts of money. You know how I say all these people like don't really have money? You know, like that Kelly Dodd, who's, I heard she's having financial troubles. What do I know? But uh, she's obsessed with money. But Nicole has real fucking money, right? So she doesn't need the money. So you're an anesthesiologist. What are you doing there? You obviously want the fame. And she still does want it. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I just can't see her leaving. I don't know. I just can't. Like, you can't buy real fame. Granted, you're already on the damn show. You'll have it. I don't know why you'd want to be on the show if you have real money and you have a career. Like, why would you want to put yourself through this? But um, she's not there. She didn't show up. I mean, we often have people. Remember the season Kathy Helton held out for more money and came mid-season? Remember our good friend Catherine Edwards who came later in the season? So I don't really think, I mean, I asked Anna. I was like, do you think she's like, you know, gone? Anna kind of had the same reaction I did of like, we can see her leaving because she doesn't really need the money, but like not so fast. I don't know. Can't you just be traveling or on vacation and not able to make like the first shoot? The weird thing is she took it off her, um, she took it off her bio. So TBD, everyone needs to watch Miami. I think it could be a great season. You know, a lot of people also think Alexia and Todd are faking the whole divorce and that they've really been sneaking around and that they really are into each other and they're faking it for a storyline. I mean, there's that out there that I've heard from a lot of people. So I think it's going to be a great season of Atlanta. I mean, Julia and Martina have the two newbies. I mean, anytime people have new kids, it's not exactly the story that I want to watch. Oh, I'd be happy if there were never any kids on Housewives, but that is just me. Anything else going on with everyone? We have our beloved Salt Lake is coming back uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow night, Salt Lake is back, people. So uh, I'm excited for this. The sum of the whole is always greater than its parts. Loved you, Monica, but the show must go on. We have New York without Bethany. We have... Uh, no LVP. We have lots of shows without people that should be there. And um, I'm going to watch and I hope it's a great season. Welcome back, Salt Lake. Don't believe the New Jersey rumors. Other than that, it was kind of a quiet week in New Jersey. Margaret and Teresa, everyone seems to be settling down with the interviews. Thank God, right? We can talk about something else. Have a great Sunday. And uh, oh, we have a good show for you tomorrow. One of my favorite guests is back. Who could it be? Housewife? Stay tuned. Have a great Sunday. And don't forget to listen to our show tomorrow.